Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you live coverage from the Superliga. Stuart, your expectations? Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. A real room for improvement in front of goal where the visitors are concerned. They have, officially speaking, the worst attack in the league. Well, their forward play hasn't been good away from home. The passing's too slow, but it's not dynamic enough, and nobody's dribbling past defenders. Can they improve that today? I'm not sure they can. The line-up then for the hosts. Well, they're playing in a 4-5-1 formation, which is set up to counter-attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five but I think the wing-backs will have licence to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front too. And the game begins. Helenius. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And a goal kick given. Couldn't hang on to it. Niklas Helenius. And options in the centre. Oh, it might be. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Elects to go short. Robert Goyani. Kaliser. On the ball, Goyani. Niklas Helenius. Failed to keep hold of it. Might really be able to trouble them here. Throw-ins given. Oh, that's a really good run. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And there's the feed into the box. Not really the ideal clearance.
Now, what can they do from here? But they dealt with the threat first. Now can they counter clinically? Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. A move of promise on the flank. Mads Albeck. He's in here. Well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. Robert Goyani, and he did well to cut it out. On the ball, Goyani. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Can they nudge in front? Well, what a start that was. Could be a chance to break here. Going well. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And whipped into the box. And it still could be dangerous. And in the end, no damage done. So there goes the half-time whistle, and it is a story of parity. Stuart, what have you made of the visitors' display? Well, we know about their lack of potency, and that hasn't changed today. But they've defended really well in the first half. Now the coach has a dilemma. If he gets his team to play more open football, do they then become vulnerable? What's he going to do? As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Well, no real accuracy, and easy for the keeper. Robert Goyani. Good movement. A high degree of difficulty with that sort of attempt. Well, he's just mistimed it, hasn't he? Didn't catch it how he would have wanted, and well, that's the result. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here.
Will he play it in? Opportunity! Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Jurgensen. Niklas Hellenius. And attempting the through ball. In it goes! The goal for 1-0. And that changes the dynamic. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Hende. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. It's a neat move. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Opportunity here. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. 20 minutes remaining. Robert Goyani. Helenius. Hende. Can he play it in? And they deal with the threat this time. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Dahl. It is to be a throw-in. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Taiwo. Søren Reise. A running room in the wide position.
Mads Albeck. In position. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Well, this forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be their last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. Who can he pick out? Clattered away. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes.